How do you manage pain as a new house cleaner? Oh, that's a great question. I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, if you go over to askahousecleaner.com, right there, you're going to find a blue button. If you click on the blue button, you can send your message to me here at the show. Somebody called in and they asked this question. Yeah, hi. I'd like to know how to manage pain when first starting out as a house cleaner. I've noticed that I have to have lots of Motrin and stuff so that I can continue to work. I was just wondering if there's a better solution. Thanks so much. Love your channel. Alrighty, I love this question. And the answer is, as a house cleaner, you are your biggest asset. You are the best cleaning tool that you will ever have. And so what you put inside your body is the results that you're going to get, right? In my hand, I have a clear bottle. There's nothing in this bottle. But the type of cleaning solution that I put in here is exactly what's going to come when I go to spray it. And the reason I bring this up is because your body is the same way. What you put into your body is what's going to come out on the other side. So if what's coming out on the other side looks like pain, looks like lethargy, looks like, oh, I just don't have the energy, it's what you're putting inside the vessel. If I mix a whole bunch of chemicals in here, and I go to spray it on a customer's surface, it might leave a film. It might actually damage the surface. Who knows, right? We got to use clean cleaning supplies. We got to have a clean body if we want clean results on the other side. So what do you do? I want you to start by looking at the SAD diet, S-A-D. It stands for the Standard American Diet. And it's really high in carbs. Carbs are things like cookies and cakes and breads and pastas and rice, things like that, right? Starchy foods. And then something that's high in sugars. So we're going to also look at sugary drinks and sugary sodas and ice cream and stuff like that. We also want to look at saturated fats. Saturated fats are going to be butters and chocolates and cheeses and whole milk and cream and ice cream and stuff like that, right? The standard American diet has a lot of those fun things in them, but the reality is it makes us sad and it brings our body down and it does not give you the pure energy that you need to get through the course of the day. So if you are having pain issues, I want you to stop first, stop first and think about what are you putting inside because what you're putting inside is what's going to come out the other side. That's the performance you're going to get. And if you want a really strong performance from your body, you're going to have to back up a step and say, wait a second, this is my career. Do I plan to be in this business 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now? And if that's the case, you got to take care of yourself. Yes, it's true. We live in an era where they can replace shoulders and knees and hips and joints and all that kind of stuff. But as long as you take care of your body, there's a lot longer chance that you're going to be in the business and reduced pain. Sugar has been known to cause inflammation, and it causes all kinds of pain and arthritic type feelings that we want to eliminate by removing that from our diet. The next thing is there are things like stretch bands. If you are not already using stretch bands, you can use them in your car. You can use them sitting in front of the TV at night. You can use them while you're at your computer doing your social media posts. You can use them just about anywhere. They fold up. They actually fit in your apron. You can use them if you're waiting in the car for a customer, like you're, you're there a couple minutes early. Use them because it will help stretch your muscles and it will help you get toned. Another thing is I use a mini trampoline, and that's been just a blessing for my business. At the end of the day and every day, I'm somewhere on my hands and knees, climbing behind a toilet, cleaning the corners of something out. And you have to be limber and you have to be able to get up and move around. And if you can't do that, then you're going to have aches and pains. And so every day, for a few minutes a day before I leave, when I come home at night, just jump on the little mini trampoline. It realigns your spine. It resets your hips, your shoulders, your back, your neck. And all of a sudden you're like, you know, Ooh, I'm ready to go again. But if you're feeling all kinked up and achy at the end of a day, you need to get on a little mini trampoline and just reset your spine. Just light bouncing. And it doesn't have to be much. But light bouncing will keep you going the entire day. And it's going to make you feel fantastic. But think of yourself as I am my biggest investment in my business. And as a result of that, I got to put clean fuel in because whatever you put inside is the result you get on the other side, right? So I want you to think of it in those terms. All right, I hope that helps. If it does, give us a thumbs up. If you've got questions or comments, those go in the notes below. I have created a very special video that I will leave right up here about all of the foods that we eat to keep our energy high throughout the day as a house cleaner. And they're all natural and they're whole foods. So check that out next.
All right, and tell me to meet again. Leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.